So today we're going to be looking at some of the best banks for Gen Z users. Now, this is potentially going to be your first bank, or maybe you've been trying a few out and you want to get one that actually works well. We're going to talk about these banks. And now these are not banks that I'm just looking up online and, you know, recommending. These are actually banks that I've used over the last couple of years, and I feel are going to be some of the best ones to utilize on a regular basis. Now, all three of these banks that we're going to be talking about here today are FDIC insured. That is probably the most important thing that we're going to be talking about here because we want to make sure that our money is protected and all three of these banks do offer that. Now, some of them will have different features and we'll break that down a little bit as we go through each one here on the screen, which we're going to go ahead and just jump right into so we can get started with this list. So the first bank we're going to be talking about here today is with SoFi. Now, SoFi has a bunch of different features on their platform, but the one we're going to be talking about is their banking, of course, because that's what we're looking at. And this is going to be SoFi Money. This is a great feature and benefit. I've actually talked about this account so much on this channel. I'll actually link up some reviews here at the end of this video so you can learn more details about this app. But one of the really cool features and benefits of SoFi is not that it just has the banking, but it also has so many other features as well too. You can actually look at personal loans, you can look at your credit score, you can even uh, do student loan refinancing, which is actually this one. Uh, you can also do investing, get some mortgages down the road, um, even sign up for that credit card if you wanted to, and so many other cool benefits. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I do utilize all these banks we're gonna be talking about here today, so I actually wanna just log into this account just to kind of show you and get you some ideas of what this kind of looks like and how it functions. Uh, this also does, of course, have a mobile version in it. It works really well and seamless. You can see our banking is right over here. Again, you can also have things like investing, if you wanted to do personal loans and anything else, all in one app. And it makes it a lot easier, especially if you're trying to build up, you know, your account with, you know, money in your savings account, maybe start building up your credit score if you're getting new into credit scores. Um, and everything is just gonna kind of all work seamlessly for you. Now you can see here, they have the checking account, but they also have savings as well, which should have some money in there, but you have savings accounts as well, which you can actually earn some really nice interest. SoFi doesn't have any fees when it comes to utilizing your account. There are no minimum balances. There's no opening balance minimums. You can have direct deposits going in there and it actually increases how much you're going to be earning on your money in the account. Now here on this other screen for the banking, there's also going to be things like autopilot. So you can have things functioning properly. Like every time you get deposits, you can have money going into your savings account. You can also even get some really cool benefits for your debit card, similar to like rewards on uh, credit cards, but this will just be with your debit card, no additional cost to you. You can transfer money in and out of other bank accounts. Uh, you can also even pay bills. So if you're somebody who's just getting started with being able to pay bills, you could do that right over here in the app as well. And then you can also make sure you check on all your transactions down here and towards the bottom you can see everything coming in everything going out and then you can even view statements just like a regular bank account so the biggest difference with this one is you're not going to actually have a local branches to be able to go to although you can go to atms and a lot of times with the atms depending on the actual service if it is in their network you can actually get reimbursed for any atm fees up to three times in a given month now you'll also be getting an account number and routing number for both your checking and your savings account as well as being able to order checks so you can pay things like rent or something else that requires an actual physical check. And of course, if you do actually get a check from somebody, you can actually even do a mobile check deposit, which is really nice and very easy to go through the process. You just take photos of the checks and then that money will be deposited within a certain amount of days into your account. Now, as we continue to go through this list, if you are interested in signing up for SoFi or any of the other banks we're gonna be talking about here today, I'll have them linked in the show notes down below for you. Now, some of those will get you a nice sign up bonus. Others will just take you directly to the website to be able to go ahead and sign up or the app store but those also do help support out the channel so you get more free detailed content just like this. Now let's go ahead and get back to this list. The next one on this list is going to be with a company called Current. This one also is going to be similar to SoFi where it's gonna be pretty much all online based. Of course, just like the other two, it is going to be FDIC insured. That is very important when it comes to utilizing this. Now this bank actually gives you, as of this recording, a really high APY, actually one of the highest available currently as of this recording, and get up to 4% on your money. But of course, there's also gonna be no overdraft fees, no additional, just fees for having your account, which is really critical when it comes to being able to go through that process. You can have direct deposits arrive about two days faster for you. So if you're somebody who's getting paid on Fridays, you can actually potentially get it up to as early as Wednesday, which is a really cool feature. Now that's not going to work for everybody, but it is going to be available for most. You also get points just like with SoFi where you can go to places and actually get discounts or money back. 
with just using a regular debit card. So you're not going to have to use a credit card to get those features. And then you can also get some really cool protections. One of my favorite things about this current app is going to be actually that you can actually block transactions instantly from your app. So there's a section in the app where you're going to type in the brands that you just don't want your card to be ran through. So if, for example, you have a subscription that's making it difficult for you to cancel, you can actually just put that company's name in there and it'll just block all those transactions. So it never comes through again. I mean, you got some other really great features and benefits like changing your pin online or reorder your cards directly from the app. Now, the next one on this list is going to be the one that I probably use the most when it comes to my day-to-day -day use when it comes to a bank account. And this is gonna be with Capital One 360. Now, Capital One is very well known for credit cards, but they do also have a checking and savings account as well. You can see here there are no minimums, no fees, and they say no worries. Now I've had Capital One 360 for the better part of about eight years, and I've actually had no fees on my account whatsoever. So here's some of the really cool features and benefits of them as well. Uh, obviously, like we said, there are no fees. There are over 70,000 uh, free fee-free ATMs. So you can actually just go ahead and either deposit money in some of these and also withdraw. So there are some of the ATMs where you can deposit physical money into to be able to have that money go into your account, just like you would go to like a bank teller to be able to deposit your money. Now, some other really cool features as well too. You can also do it where you can get paid early. Uh, they also do have cafes all across the country where essentially they are pretty much like a branch, but also like a cafe. So it's a little bit two in one, which is really nice. So you can also add money in store. So on top of just going to the ATM that will allow you to do deposits, because not all ATMs will do it. You can actually even go to select a CVS store locations to be able to do that cash deposit right into your bank account. And one of the things I probably love most about Capital One is that you can use Zelle with this with other banks. So you can transfer money from Capital One to any other bank that utilizes Zelle within just moments of sending that money, which is really nice. So you don't have to send it to something like Venmo or Cash App to then withdraw to that person's bank. It just goes directly from your bank to their bank. Now, if you're somebody like me and love to have multiple accounts for checking accounts or even savings accounts for different kind of saving buckets, uh, this will actually allow you to have so many additional accounts. You can have up to two additional checking accounts and you can also have almost an unlimited amount of savings accounts. I think for myself, I have two checking accounts and four saving accounts for different reasons, all of those with no fees and no worries whatsoever. So like I mentioned earlier, I'll have a link for all these companies in the show notes down below. So you can go ahead and get started with your very first bank account or transition from an old bank as well. I have some reviews on all of these companies. So check out my video right over here so you can keep on learning.